Hello, my lovely people. Me and Oscar would <laughs> pay attention, Oscar. Me and Oscar would like to say an enormous thank you to all of you who have helped me to come back home. I am home, we are home, and we and we are very, very grateful. Thank you for all your bookings and donations and well wishes. It's wonderful to be home. Thank you so much. Now let's talk about the energy for April. So happy astrological new year. So April is all about, well actually started at the beginning of every season on the 20th of March, but we are in a brand new astrological year. Finally that energy is behind us. Well, nearly. Uh, we're just coming out of Mercury retrograde shadow period, which is going to last until about the 17th of April. So the first two weeks of April are going to be a little bit slow, and then we're going to really start to see things moving forward. So let's get into each of the readings for the 12 signs. Hello, my lovely Virgos. How are you doing for April 2019? What do we have for Virgo, please? Now, as I said in the beginning there, we've got Mercury retrograde in its shadow period for the first couple of weeks, finishes around about the 17th. Then things are really moving forward. Um, now, let's see what's going on for my fellow Virgos. What's going on for Virgo, please? There's a sun, moon and rising. Virgo. Okay, so we're beginning the month with the two of swords, a little bit indecisive. Not quite sure where I'm going. Okay, let's see what else we have. Tell me a little bit more, please, for my Virgos. All right, we're moving away from the drama, the difficulties, the challenges into much calmer waters. We need to clarify a little bit more on that Two of Swords, but we're definitely moving into a better time here, particularly as we're coming out of Mercury Retrograde Shadow moving into a much, much, much better place. Okay, clarify Four of Cups. Okay, power. Power and passion and enthusiasm and light coming back in. Let's have a little bit more, please. Please clarify these cards. Let me know a little bit more about these cards. Let's have some information about the Two of Swords, please. That one is it, yeah, okay. Okay, that's the letter, that's information coming through which is making you a little bit indecisive. What are you not sure about? What are you not sure about? Okay. Tell me a bit more for Virgo. Tell me a little bit more, please. Okay, good. All right, my darling, so we're starting the month with this Two of Swords, which is about not seeing clearly, feeling confused, need to make a decision, but don't quite know what to do. It's that sense of being held in a holding space while you make your mind up, while you allow things to shift and change. Sometimes I'm feeling the energy here of the hanging man, you know, when we can't, we know we need to make changes, but we're not quite sure. We're, it's not the right circumstances. It's not the right time. So we need to just wait for a moment. Just hold our space while we get some clarity, while we tune in, tap into our inner self and look at the circumstances around us. Then we can move forward. Now, clarifying this is the letter, which is about information, communication, but it's a letter, not an email, so it's quite slow moving. And this is what we're waiting for. We're waiting for news. We're waiting for something to come in to kickstart us moving forward. Because there's the Six of Swords there where we are. We know here that we want to move forward into a better space. But we're waiting for news to make it happen. Now that could be internal news, just a kind of knowing, a sign from the universe, something somebody says, or it literally could be you're waiting for a letter, you're waiting for communication. Some of you may be moving house, waiting for um, the sale to go through, waiting for a job offer, waiting for um, a, a lover to come forward and clarify what are we doing are we developing this relationship or are we not what well, it's going to mean different things to different people because it's a general read but we are definitely in a holding space here 
but then we have that news and we're off we're moving forward okay now this can be physically moving forward this often symbolizes moving house leaving where you are okay and moving into something different and it's rooted down clarified here by the bridge now this is a card about networking and you know building bridges being able to get from a to b yeah so i know where i want to go and i need to build the bridge to get there and this is where she's going she's moving into a place where she's put the bridges in place so that she can move over there all right so this could be a job so you know i've had the offer which creates the bridge for me to move into it for other people it's mm, let's let's see what else this is about for others of you that because it's not going to resonate for everybody and that's absolutely fine just take the bits that resonate and leave what doesn't this bridge is significant you're waiting for news to create this bridge. It's, I feel that for many of you, the bridge is half complete. It's, well, three quarters. It's got as far as there. And you're waiting for that last bit to put into place, which is this news. Then you can move forward. Now, look at the page here. The page of wands is looking at her. So he's like calling her, come to me, come to me, come towards me. And she's there moving towards him. And the page of wands is an offer an opportunity very often related to work business uh, self-employment it's creating opportunities here which will bear fruit and he's calling her towards him and she's moving she was waiting for that information now she's moving towards him and as she does that this is a gift coming in here the flowers represent time out um, rest and recovery and when we've moved away from a difficult challenging situation it's really important that we allow ourselves some rest time to recover yeah we often go through the mill move out of that difficult time and then just carry on and on and on and on and we get totally exhausted and you know what we're like Virgos you know we just keep going and going and going until we're burnout and then we have a good old moan <laughs> And it's down to us to say, right, I'm out of the difficulty. I'm going to just have a rest now. Even if it's 24 hours, 48 hours, I'm going to just take some time for me and I'm going to rest and recover. Then I can move on as we move towards the end of the month. So I feel this is around Easter time, really. Easter is around about the 21st of April. This is the third week where we've had that offer. We can take some time for us, just recover before we move on. Now I want to look at these three cards here because we've got the Four of Cups, which is the card of feeling disappointed and disillusioned and a little bit frustrated, bored, all right for many of you it's linked to this all right we're not good at doing nothing are we virgo <laughs> we've got to be doing 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 but let's remind ourselves we're human beings not human doings we do not like being bored we do not like sitting still we like to be doing constantly but i do feel here these are linked with i need now i've had this offer to just chill out for a while and there's Virgo's having a right old moan because I don't, I, I just want to get on with it. I just want to get on with it. And it's like, no, no, you're going to just wait. And what you're doing here is you are coming back into your power. The King of Wands is, is passionate and powerful and enthusiastic and he knows what he wants and where he's going. This is what you need to just wait to come back into your power because you need to understand how much this lot drained you while you were waiting, while you were building bridges, while you were waiting to move forward. This drained you, it drained your light and your power and your enthusiasm and your passion. For some of you, it's drained your confidence and we're having it back. We need to have it back. So we need to take this time, the end of the month, just hold still. And we've got the scythe there, which is about cutting away what is in the way, okay? Cutting away maybe old attitudes, old behaviours, any negativity. We want to cut that away while we are just coming into this power. So we're cutting away the boredom, the frustration, any mm, lingering resentments of what you've left here. All right. So yes, particularly the last year being very challenging. 
as we move away out of that challenge, what we're finding here for some of us is that mm, anger, resentment, upset, hurt is coming up to the surface from all of this chaos and confusion that we had, yeah? So that we're moving, letting it go. We've got to let it go before we move on. We don't want to move on taking resentment with us. So yes, we're out of that difficulty. We're into a better place, but we're going to just hold the space to heal, to recover, to let go, to forgive, to forgive yourself, to forgive others, to just chill out for a while before we start really moving forward then in May. So April is a transformative month, as it has been for all of the signs I've done so far. We are leaving behind all of those challenges and difficulties that we've had over the last year. And as we go into May, we're coming into a much brighter and stronger space. But there is some holding space here towards the end of April where we need to just rest and recover and let go of that frustration, that uh, for some of us, anger, disappointment, feeling, you know, what the hell went on there that last year? What absolute chaos. This is a card of coming away from the chaos. And as you're away, see, this is, I specialised in my therapy business with, you know, depression, stress, anxiety, PTSD. And I just want to talk for a minute there about that, because something like PTSD is on a milder level, okay, we deal with the trauma and the stress after it's over. Mostly, we don't deal with it while we're in it. We're too busy coping. We're too busy dealing with the challenges. It's after it's over that all of that stress, anxiety, crap comes up to the surface to be released. This is why well, you know, when I'm working with somebody with PTSD, it's generally three to six months after the event that they start to have symptoms. And this is not just for people with PTSD. It's for any stressful situation. We generally don't deal with it while we're in it. We'll deal with it after it's over. And what happens is the inner being says, I can let go now. I'm safe now. I'm safe. I've moved into a safe place. I can let go now. And this is where, this is what we're then letting go of. And by the end of the month, we're feeling much more stable, much more secure. I want to add an energy card to this to finish off. An energy card to finish off. Okay, we're letting go of attachment. So this is confirming these cards. Where we were attached to challenges, to difficulties, to people, places, situations, we freed that attachment. And that is what is needing to come up and come out. You're letting go of all of the challenges and chaos that you've had and you're moving forward clean, empty. You're not dragging your suitcases of crap with you. You are putting them down and leaving them there at the end of April so that you can move forward free. Not chained, not trapped, not attached, free like the king. All right, my darling Virgos, I hope that helps give you some information and clarity for April. Um, do please like and share and subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this video. And thank you for watching. And I will see you on the weeklies or next month for the May's readings. You take care, Virgo. Lots of love. Bye-bye.